Hi, I'm Mike, and in this short demo, I'm going to show you how Resource Guru helps you deliver work without the usual chaos. Whether you're planning next month's workload or dealing with something that's just happened, Resource Guru helps you build a realistic schedule, assign the right people, track what actually happened, and keep projects moving forward smoothly. So let's walk through an example schedule and see how we can manage our team's time in a calm and controlled manner. On the left hand side in the schedule, we see our people and resources. Resources can be anything from placeholders that we see here to meeting rooms, vehicles, or other bits of equipment, like video cameras, for example, basically anything that needs scheduling. A quick note on placeholders. Placeholders are a great forecasting tool. If work comes in and you don't currently have capacity for it, or you're not sure who's yet gonna take that task, you can still book it against a placeholder so it has visibility on the schedule, and it becomes a scheduling problem that you need to solve in the coming weeks. On the schedule itself, we can see a number of bookings for projects, each project represented by different colored bars. And this makes it very visually easy to see who's working on what and when. We also have milestones. For example, we have design presentation and planned go live. And by marking these key dates, it means we can schedule time towards them without guesswork. Building a realistic schedule is very important. And we help with that by showing you availability visually. So we can see here that Priya has three and a half hours booked and four and a half hours free. Whereas Kenji here has eight hours booked and therefore no time free. He can't take any more bookings on this day. That said, you can still overbook people. Kenji here has agreed to do a two hour task as well as the eight hour work that day. But where we've booked it, we've booked it with overtime. And that means it visually flags to us that there's a potential problem on this day. And if we can smooth it out in the future, we should. Another great way to look at your team's utilization and capacity is the heat map. If I switch to the heat map view, we can get a very clear view of our team's utilization. We can see that most people are well utilized. And that issue that we had with Kenji, we can also see that flagged up here. So whilst he's 100% utilized, we're still flagging clearly that there's a potential issue that we might, we might want to address. I can also group the views into things like department, and that gives me an even clearer breakdown of my utilization per department. In other words, we're not just planning work, we're planning something we can actually deliver. Now, I'm going to reset this view, and we're gonna look at this placeholder booking is coming up in less than two weeks. It's about time we found somebody to do this work. Otherwise, it's gonna turn up on the 28th and we're gonna have no one to do the work. So, what I'm gonna do is switch to a view that I created earlier called Designers. You can manage the schedule by different sorting, by grouping in different ways, and by many different filters. And saving views lets you save different configurations of the schedule so you can get back to them easily. In this view, we're simply filtering our people and our placeholders down to the design department. Now, we need to move this booking so the work can get done. Raphael is on holiday, so he can't do the work, so it's going to have to go on to Cody. But Cody is fully booked. So rather than just add the work to his schedule, we have got a clash and we're gonna add it to the waiting list. The waiting list is a place work can live, booked against people, but where it's flagged as not having enough time to complete that work. Again, another scheduling problem to address. And by the way, those issues that need addressing are all captured in your actions drawer up here. You can see every booking on each day that needs addressing. We're gonna address this one now. So Cody's on eight hours a day here and two hours a day here. We're gonna split this booking and we're gonna remove two hours a day from this booking, losing us 20 hours in total across those, those two weeks. But now that booking can come off the waiting list because we've made space for it. We still need to catch up those 20 hours. So when Raphael gets back from holiday, he's gonna help. So we're gonna put in a booking, four hours a day, giving us 20 hours total against that project. And when he gets back, he can help Cody catch up. 
I'm going to go back to the main schedule view. Brightbeam have just told us that they want us to do this work that was tentatively scheduled against our engineering placeholder. So the first thing I'm going to do is unflag it as tentative. And then I'm going to move it onto our two engineers, Kenji and James. And you can see how tools like clash warnings, drag and drop, splitting bookings, availability heat maps and filters all combine to help you assign the right people quickly and realistically. Now that we've got that plan locked in, we want to see if it's had any impact on the budget. So we're going to go into reports. What we're seeing here is a report by person drilling into projects. But we don't want that right now. So we're going to get rid of people and that leaves us just projects. And here is our project, Launchpad App, that we've just made new bookings against. We had a budget of $75,000 for this project. And as of today, we've still got $50,000 remaining. However, that doesn't tell the full story. I'm going to add another column in. I'm going to add in budget projected variance. What this does is it takes where we are today and it adds on all future scheduled hours. And so we can see now that we're still going to come under budget, but the margins are a little tighter. So we just need to keep an eye on it. Every time we schedule someone, Resource Guru will calculate the projected cost based on people's hourly rates and the time they're spending on the project. So we can stay in control of the spend as we go. If scope changes or extra work creeps in, we'll see the impact early, not when it's too late. Now let's take a look at timesheets. Timesheets help us know what actually happened. Each person's schedule pre-fills their timesheets with suggestions. So all they need to do is confirm or adjust. That means they're not starting from scratch or trying to remember what it was they were doing on any given day. They can simply come in and start making adjustments. Looking at last week's timesheet, it looks like we still need to complete Thursday and Friday. Rather than add each one individually, there's a nice little feature called bulk log. If I bulk log, I can very quickly make adjustments to all of these suggested entries as needed, and then log them all at once. Log time, and my timesheet's complete. Once submitted, it will go into the timesheet approval process for approval or rejection. And we can now use that data to look at scheduled v actuals and see how closely we stuck to the plan. Before we wrap up, there's one other thing we should touch on. Now, your team members will get a dashboard view showing them the work they've got to do today, as well as any bookings they've made for other people, and giving them a view of who's currently off and who's going to be off soon. This isn't the only way they can stay up to date, though. They can connect their Google Calendar or Outlook Calendar, and any changes to the schedule will be instantly reflected within their, cal within their synced calendars. They'll also get a daily schedule email, giving them a rundown of the work they've got ahead of them for the day. And as things change throughout the day, they'll get change notification emails, letting them know what's changed. That's a whistle stop tour of how Resource Guru helps teams master their time. From initial planning and forecasting, to adapting in real time, tracking what actually happened, and staying on top of projects, budgets, and workloads. It's not just about managing bookings, it's about building a plan you can trust and that's realistic, and having the flexibility to keep it on track when things shift. Thanks for watching, and we'll now be around for a live Q&A.